What's up, y'all? It's Mommy Wata, and I'm back. Thank you so much for your support of Mommy Wata Tarot. Please continue to like, share, and subscribe to the content on this platform, y'all. And we're going to talk about this download because I was chilling. I was watching one of my favorite movies, The Rainmaker, and I got this download. They reading off the insurance policy numbers that you were the beneficiary to in court. The stenographer is stenographing and recording the policy numbers of these insurance, life insurance policies that you were made the beneficiary of now because there's some sort of court case going on about why you were not given the money from these life insurance policies. So let's see what the Holy Spirit wants us to know. Child, this got my heart pacing. Like, what is we about to find out, Holy Spirit? Please and thank you. What is it that you want someone in the collective to know at this time? Surrounding this download that I got, please and thank you, Holy Spirit. What do we need to know from you through me at this time? Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank y'all so much for your continued support of Mommy Wata Tarot. Let's go. No. Clarify no. Oshun Oba Oya. No, you're not finna get rest in peace. No, you're not finna get over on this divine anointed, exalted person who comes from a royal bloodline, who descends from a royal bloodline. No, you're not finna steal their inheritance, their abundance, their prosperity. You may actually come from royalty. That may have been traced. I don't know why I'm hearing that, but that's dead. RIP came out. What else? Cryptic. This cryptic energy of whoever thinking that they're going to keep getting away with the fact that they done stole your inheritance. These is life insurance policies, multiple ones that you were made the beneficiary of and multiple people conspired together to steal your money. And they in court about it right now. I'm telling you, this is some very cryptic behavior, grace and mercy. But God, because I'm telling you, you don't even know about it. You don't even know about it. And somebody working it out for you now. Because they in court deliberating about it. But the universe said, no, ma'am, no, sir. Whoever this is within your family unit, extended family, these cryptic individuals, no, you're not going to get away with taking this money that we left, left her Whoever you are, Divine Feminine, when we pass on, I'm telling you right now, people, ancestors is not playing around. That's why this weather been like it's been for these past few days. Know that. If you know, you know. What else, Holy Spirit? Divorced travel. There's some energy like Whoever did not give you your money, they tried to say you were unstable. They tried to bring up whatever circumstances surrounding you being divorced as an issue. A reason why they couldn't give you this money, that you were, you were unstable, that you couldn't you are always moving around. You couldn't keep a steady home. Maybe you have children. They they were able to convince somehow, some way, they were able to convince whoever allowed this money to be released to them that they that all these people in your family need to oversee this money that was left to you in various ways. And I can't make it up. I'm telling you right now, that's why it's the weather being like it's been. And, it, and, and y'all ancestors is only getting started. Only getting started now. There may be a karmic soulmate who also helped this extended family in some way, shape, or form keep this money from you. It's something about your marriage. 
and your divorce and whoever you were married to there you were married to they're a karmic soulmate but this person also played a part in this money being kept away from you i just heard while y'all were married they were given money by someone in your family but the money but they they knew that you had money and money was given to them to help support the partnership but they were not to tell you about this money that they were receiving from your family. What else? Mm -mm. Gifted, talented, and skilled. They got very talented and skilled. Use all their gifts to try to keep this money away from you. And I feel like whoever you are, you've been able to use your gifts, skills, and talents to create income for yourself, to create some sort of prosperity and abundance. You're not missing this money. Okay, but it's still your money and your ancestors, the people who have passed on before you that you've known personally in this lifetime, even they wanted you to have this money. They left this money to you. <clears throat> it's not pride because they were proud of your gifts, your talents and your skills. They wanted you to have the freedom financially to be able to enhance those gifts, talents, and skills and explore new realms that they never got to explore because of limitations that were placed on their life. That life insurance policy was a, a way for them to break the generational cycle because they saw the potential in you to go out there and do things that y'all family, y'all bloodline never got to do. Now I'm telling you what I'm getting and that's why that's why it is the calm before the storm. People think the weather is shitty now. Okay. At peace. Meanwhile, some of us are enjoying the storms. We enjoy the serenity and the calm that rain brings. We at peace. We ain't got no qualms cuz we know we've been doing the right thing and grace and mercy has kept us over time and we know that we will endure any storm, okay? And there is some energy like, <clears throat> these people have been doing spell work and all to keep you out of the loop from receiving your inheritance. And you know that they don't fuck with you because this is what you have told your family. And they have used that to their advantage. The fact that you don't communicate with them, they were able to get away with saying these things about you for a while. Something about you in partnerships. Maybe you've been married more than once, but there's a soulmate or someone you thought was a soulmate that you married that you're now divorced from that got money from these people while y'all were together. And they assisted in this money being kept away from you since then. They were some sort of character witness or something in the past. But whoever this person is that's advocating for you, this is their vibe, okay? Because they know how divine you are. They know they fighting for a divine cause, an anointed cause, someone who is in alignment who is revered by the spiritual realm and the universe. They can tell. They have they have enough assurance of that to have went to battle for you. It's like somebody, I'm hearing pro bono. I don't know. But you don't know how they're advocating for you. Hold tight. Don't ever give up. The fight came out here. Because that's the energy that they've been in. Back to back. Energy showing how they refuse to give up that they've been going to bat with your extended family because yes, they did cheat on you. Yeah, they cheated on you. Them withholding your inheritance, never even letting you know how these people truly respected and loved and cared about you enough to leave you something. Like they could have at least lied and been like, well, you only got 50000 even though you really got $100,000. i am just saying, if they was going to do this, they should at least gave you something. And it's multiple policies, multiple policies that your name was on that 
multiple family members participated in keeping you out of the loop about. Yes, they did cheat on you. It's right up under cryptic. And I'm telling you, they, they, they tried to frame you. They tried to say that you were unstable, that you had poor money management because you could not keep a home. You could you always were constantly moving out around. It's something about travel. And they also said that you have poor social relationships, intimate relationships. Like maybe you would get with somebody and let them blow your money or you don't know how to manage money well. It's something like that here. God forgives you. For, God forgives you. Forgive yourself. This is how they feel now. Because see, they in court being shamed. Okay? Shamed. Do you hear me? And hearing what they have done out loud in a court of law is really waking up some of these family members and how and helping them see how wrong they are they wrong i'm telling you it's something about you in intimate partnerships like you will get with random men and you for the streets and you would blow the money and you need somebody to manage the money for you and shit i'm telling you you could be a leo and I think I also did say that they be doing, they tried to do this on you too. Yes, they did, nah. But it, you know, the universe is only getting started on these, these people. Sexual abuse. That very well could be what they use to say is the reason why you make the decisions you made when it came to men and being divorced and stuff and being unstable but also that speaks volumes about their lack of atten attentiveness to your issues and your needs and your trauma and i feel like whoever this person is that accepted this challenge on your behalf they have evidence of that like y'all abuse y'all power y'all drop the ball so you can't say that this, look, right behind abuse of power is the devil. So y'all can't say that you are a better person to manage this money. If you were the catalyst, you were the, the conspirator even, and things happening in this person's life the way that they did. That don't make sense. What, what make you a better, a better handler? Okay. Child magic. Because look at how this energy came out behind Leo now. Voodoo, sexual abuse, abuse of power, devil, and magic. That's the type of energy that these extended family members had for whoever you are. And you royal. You come from a royal bloodline. It's really given that you don't share the same bloodline as these people. It ain't no way they too money hungry. It's something about your dignity, your integrity. Like... You walk the way you walk. You would think that you walk on rose petals. Okay? But you might got on two-year-old sneakers. Okay? You walk like you royalty. Whoever I'm picking up on, I'm picking up on that. That that's what people have said. Like you slide when you walk. You look like you walking on a treadmill. This is what I'm hearing now. So be grateful for this person who has accepted this challenge on your behalf and, and who is advocating for you. Because you have inspired this person to pay it forward, to be what you want to receive from another. He's, I guess it's a masculine. He's paying it forward by advocating for you in court because he know that your family ain't nothing but hit man Hit men, women, hit man vibes all day. And it's over. Because I'm telling you, whatever just got said in court, them policy numbers, people was looking like, what? I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Snake.
I can't make it up. And I was about to say something about me saying that, but now I'm going to let hoes have that. I'm going to let them have that. I just want people to check my track record. Okay, you can go back some years now and you can see how I am, who I be, what I've maintained, my damn integrity, and also how I have evolved on this platform. And I'm going to just say that. Okay, but they know these people some damn snakes. They know that. We have lucid dreaming, time travel, astral projection, somebody mad. Oh, yeah, they real mad. They mad now. They mad because they've been exposed. Okay, some of these people got a little bit of a conscience and they... They were hoping that the Most High will forgive them. And that's why that card came out here. They got to forgive themselves first. And they got to try to make it right. But it's somebody within that camp that's in court right now that's upset. Because you better know that it's going to be some consequences once this has been settled. Okay? Lucid dreaming, time travel, astral projection. I feel like... Because there's somebody within your family that do voodoo, okay? They they mess around in that magic now. You might not know it, but they do because they've been doing it on you. And whoever that is, they've been trying to spiritually spy on you. They've been trying to see what you know about the situation. If you're aware of what's been going on in court, you are not aware unless you picked up on it spiritually, but you don't know specifically, and you definitely don't know this person who's advocating for you. But somebody in your camp, look, now it could be quite possible that it's a Leo who's in this energy. You could be a Leo too. But the way this, this Oracle energy is falling, because right up under Leo is somebody mad. Okay? And then we saw what came out behind Leo. So this person could be a Leo as well. But time will always tell, because I'm telling you, your advocate, they know their history and they did their research and everything these people tried to say was the case has been refuted. Okay? Final messages, Holy Spirit. We ain't gonna stay here too long. I'm serious about this and us. Whoever this person is, your advocate, that's what we calling them. This person is serious about you. And I feel like their admiration for you, their intrigue about you is what prompted them to look into who you really were. And they came across this. I mean, this is wild here. They came across this energy. But I feel like this person is also romantically interested in you. I feel like when they come to you with this win, they, they feel like this will give you, that this will give them more traction with you like they know that you ain't fucking around with people like that because of what you have already experienced in your lifetime so they want to come with an offering so to speak and their offering is going to be the final outcome of your situation they a fan of yours they really do admire you now can you imagine because whoever this person is obviously they have the education, they have the gifts, talents, and skills, and the resources to do this. So obviously, they admire you, okay? Anything else, Holy Spirit, anything else? It's a thin line between love and hate. And I think they're actually amazed at how your family can do you this way has done you this way and this is what you exude okay this is who you are this your energy whoever i'm talking to in the collective so they they're they're just baffled they don't understand how these people that they, they haven't found evidence that you deserve to be treated the way that you've been treated by your family that you deserve to be left out of this loop financially they ain't found the evidence, but that's why they feel like maybe you come from a different bloodline. This is what this person feels. 
you're royalty. And I feel like it's a number of folks who feel that way. They are in love. Okay. They could be a Gemini or you could be a Gemini. But that's what it is right now, child. And they wrapping court up too. They wrapping it up. Do you still love me? That's what your family probably is wondering. Because, see, this was a conspiracy. <laughs> okay? These, these people ain't... you. All this been going on behind your back since the first life insurance policy was able to be cashed in. Because that's how they viewed that. Whoever these relatives are that had your name on these policies, it's really giving it... They was waiting on them people to pass now. Now they wondering how you feel about them. But I'm telling y'all, the elements are at play. The ancestors are on the rise. And it's only getting started because all these lies are being revealed. Okay? And your spiritual team is with you. Because not only are you love and light, you may also be a healer. Yet these people out here trying to play you like you some kind of trick. Try to definitely say it's something about you being, I'm telling you, something about you being promiscuous and having bad taste in men and being, you know, a louse in that way. I'm telling you. Not able to control your desire. But all of that's been refuted because whoever you are, you probably ain't even dating nobody. Probably ain't been dating nobody like that, child. It's like everything they said about you, whoever this advocate is, they had something to overrule that shit. Do you hear me, okay? <laughs> Look, something new. Every time they came up with something new against you, he had something to refute whatever they said about you. I'm telling you. It's, it's almost like the way he's setting this thing up. You're going to have to give this man his flowers, even if you don't want to date him. You're going to have to show him gratitude and give him thanks because it just ain't no way. Who's going to save your soul now? Because when I tell you he got these people in court, some of these people rather, truly regretting that they ever did this against you. They are really wondering what the future outcome of their life is going to be depending on the part that they played in this fraud. Because what's done in the dark will come to light because he has all the knowledge and foresight about how you have been bamboozled out of being the beneficiary of these policies. And I'm telling you, it might be up to four policies. Up to four policies now. But all that stuff is being unearthed. And your ancestors are right there helping this advocate do what he need to do to make sure that the truth is revealed. You know, they tried to bury them for real. I'm telling you, it's something like that here. I'm picking up on it. But, you know, shit has hit the ceiling in this situation because I feel like I'm not the only one who's questioning possibly how some of these family members who had you on their policy now. Listen to me now. I'm not the only one who then picked up that some of these family members may have participated in the early unaliveness of these other ancestors who left you on these policies now. Claire, look, ice on the bottom. I'm telling you now what I'm picking up on. I'm telling you, somebody a Pisces, you could be a Pisces or one of these family members in particular who they're questioning how they did pass and transition, they could be a Pisces. Something coming out about that with this resurrection energy, this person's Spirit and soul is at, at you know, they're, they're not, you know what I'm saying? They, they may have been this type of energy. And so people, you know, they may have had some addiction issues or something. And so people 
were able to get away with this conspiracy to put them on ice. Like they, they may have Scorpio, they may have supposedly passed from an illness, but that illness, somebody helped speed it up. It's something like that here. It could have been a Scorpio who did it. Clarify, Holy Spirit. I'm just saying, child, that's what's hitting the table, and I'm damn sure picking it up. Guilty, and I can't make it up, and I'm dropping the mic on that. I'm dropping the mic on that. Because things will be balanced, okay? But if it doesn't apply, please let it fly, y'all. Take only what resonates and leave the rest. Please be sure to check out my services on watamami.com. And I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.